All right, so in this video, I'm going to be explaining another important article about domain adaptation. And the title of this article is Generalizing to Evolving Domains with Latent Structure Aware Sequential Autoencoder. So this paper in 2022. Domain generalization aims to improve the generalization capability of machine learning systems to out-of-distribution data. Existing domain generalization techniques embark upon stationary and discrete environments to tackle the generalization issue caused by out-of-distribution data. However, many real-world tasks in non-stationary environments for example, self-driven car system, sensory measures. They involve more complex and continuously evolving domain drift, which raises new challenges for the problem of domain generalization. In this paper, we formulate the aforementioned setting as the problem of evolving domain generalization. Specifically, we propose to introduce a probabilistic framework called Latent Structure Aware Sequential Autoencoder to tackle the problem of evolving domain generalization. We are exploring the underlying continuous structure in the latent space of deep neural networks, where we aim to identify two major factors, namely covariate shift and concept shift accounting for distribution shift in non stationary So uh, we have three major domain shifts. The first one is called covariant shift, this one. The second one is called concept shift, this one. And the last one is label shift. So this article focuses on these covariate shift and concept shift. Particularly, we formulate this non-stationary scenario as evolving domain generalization that we only have access to adequate labeled examples from the sequential source domains. It means, for example, like, like let's say, in, in, in online learning, that data is coming like a stream. Each, each second, we have a new kind of data. Like 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 continual learning, like uh, in t uh, like in line online learning. So we have an evolving domain. It's some domain, but the next time we have another domain, then another time another domain, then then the, the next time we have another domain. Sometimes uh, has intersection with previous domains. So we propose to focus on the problem of non-stationary evolving domain generalization where both covariate of course it's very hard to decouple covariate shift and concept shift they are very mixed with each other we propose a novel probabilistic framework which incorporates variational inference to identify the continuous latent structure of these two shifts separately and simultaneously and finally, they provide empirical results to show that the proposed approach yields better results than other domain generalization methods across. When we say domain generalization, it, it definitely means we have multiple sources. It's not just single source. So it means it has multiple sources. And the target doesn't have any intersection. And uh, so the problem formulation is that we have T sequentially arriving source domains. So first D1, then T, D2, D3 is coming. The, the, the domains are coming like, a pipe, like in a pipe, like in a cube. And the goal of our problem is to train a classification model which can be generalized to M following arriving target domains which are not available during training. For simplicity, we omit the index i whenever x sub i refers to single data points. So conventional domain generalization setting only assumes that 
P of X varies for different domains, which may not be ideal since both P of X and P of Y condition on X can be non-stationary. So to tackle this problem in this paper, we aim to explore the evolving patterns of covariate shift and concept shift across domains. So this is the comparison of causality diagrams for stationary and non-stationary. For example, you see on A, it represents standard stationary domain generalization setting, which only contains covariate shift. But in B, it is an extension of version A, which contains both covariate shift and concept shift. Because now the probability of Y given X varies. And C and D, these two, are corresponding non-stationary. So now it's just a stream. Stream is coming, stream. It's like a stream. It's not just uh, one single domain. It's an evil, the domain is changing at each time. So when we say domain generalization, 10% of articles still assume that it's single domain but it is out of distribution uh, prediction and modeling. But 90% of the articles in the literature, especially those that use the word of domain adaptation, domain generalization, they mean that we have multiple sources. To model the dynamics in non-stationary systems, we consider two independent factors, W and V which accounts for distribution drift in data sample space uh, and data category space, respectively, according to different timestamps. For example, this figure on, on D, you will see that, uh, so you will see that for data X and Y, so we have covariate shift and data category space. For data X and Y collected at timestamp T, we denote the Z, W, and Z, V as the latent variables at timestamp T. And for completeness, uh, we further consider time invariant latent code to capture, for example, this latent code to capture the static information of X sub T. We thus can define a probabilistic generative model for the joint distribution of all source domains. So probability of 1 to t and then probability of y. Where the first term and second term can be formulated by using Markov chain models because it's just a multiplication over the time. The probability of, for example, Z1 conditional less than T, uh, probability of Z2 conditional less than, probability of Z3 condition on Z1 and Z2 times uh, P. So it's, it's like multiplication over times. But we are conditioning on the latent variables that are before a particular time. So, the, uh, so these are these denote the covariate shift and concept shift. And equation two, this one shows that the generation process of domains data, the timestamp T, depends on the corresponding dynamic latent code and static code. And equation three shows that the inference process, I mean the classifier to produce Y sub T, rely on the corresponding uh, Z and ZC. Our, our objective is to learn the classifier which disposes of covariate shift through Z sub C and concept shift with dynam dynamic Z for, for the problem of evolving domain generalization. To model P where covariate shift involved, we set the prior distribution to be normal distribution with mean zero and covariance i. 
So this can be parameterized by some recurrent neural network. So you, you see that we are modeling the latent variable as a normal distribution. And we can learn it because we can always, as, as in the variational autoencoder, you know that we all can always parameterize your mean and covariance. So it's very easy. Uh, we can parameterize it by LSTM or anything you say. To approximate the prior distributions, we propose to use variational inference to learn an approximate uh, posterior distribution over latent variables. Given data, which can be formulated as QZ condition on the X1 through T, and times the Q of a ZT condition of Z less than T. And they can also be parameterized by neural network. So the objective function for latent feature le representation learning can be derived based on evidence lower bound. And we know elbow from variational autoencoder, this uh, popular paper in 2014. So the first term denotes the reconstruction term. So this is reconstruction term. The second term is just the KL divergence because it wants to align the posterior distributions. We have two posterior distributions, Z sub C and Z sub C condition on X1 through time T. So the category related module to model P of uh, one through T for classification purpose, where concept shift is involved, we propose to in introduce another module, which can be easily integrated into our unified framework under domain generalization. So we propose to model P with a dynamic distribution where the Z is varied and encode the shift information in the data category space. The module can be optimized via maximizing distribution given a sequence of the domains. In practice, we represent P as the category, which is a learnable categorical distribution. In a similar vein with the Z, we utilize the distribution to model the posterior distribution and approximate the prior distribution by adopting variational inf inference. So this Q can be parameterized by just a recurrent neural network with categorical distribution as output. So we joined the training and we have just, we just need to maximize this uh, expectation of Y of T and also uh, we want to reduce the KL divergence. So the first term, as I said, is just classification loss, but the second term is wants to align the posterior distribution of Z with its prior distribution. And then they talk about temporal smooth constraint for better stability. And uh, this theorem says that for data likelihood, we have the evidence lower bound where Z is drawn from this distribution and then uh, here is the an other theorem that says that uh, this loss is equivalent to elbow of data log likelihood based on non-stationary environment setting so they just generalize it to the case that we have uh, evolving domains. I mean, time varies with time. And this is an overview of the network architecture. So it's a static variational encoding network, EC. This is a static one. Dynamic variational encoder, EW and V. So these are dynamic. 
dynamic prior network. Dynamic variational encoding networks. And F here is FV, uh, dynamic prior network, FW, and FV. Uh, also, they have a decoder and a classifier. And we do not require E sub V during inference stage. So the domain related module consists of a static variational encoding network, a dynamic variational encoding network associated with Q, and a dynamic prior network. And a decoder corresponding to P. So similar to variational autoencoder, we can apply the reparameterization trick. So once we are given the sequential source label data sets, it's because it's an evolving domain, we first randomly initialize all of the decoder, classifier, everything. And we assign zero to that, to Z, to the, your latent variable. Then we generate prior distribution for both the W and V. And then we sample a batch of data we calculate the losses that I've shown you, and we update all modules. But at the inference, because we are given a sequence of target data sets, then we can extract the feature for data and generate the prediction. They did it for rotated MNIST, portraits, different kinds of data sets. And you see that the accuracy for, for example, this data set portrait of this model is 89%. So the worst one is this data set, RMNIST, which is uh, for just 44, or, or even the circle C. These are the worst cases, has lowest accuracy. So domain generalization baselines do not take concept shift into consideration. And they propose a focus on the problem of evolving domain where the covariate shift and concept shift may vary, vary over time. And to tackle this problem, they propose a novel uh, framework to model the dynamics of distribution shift. They model the dynamics of covariant shift and concept shift, which is amazing. And they also provide theoretical analysis, which shows that our proposed method is equivalent to maximizing the elbow based on non-stationary environment and justifies the rationality of our proposed method for the problem of evolving domain generalization. 